call the to order. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call to order roll call, starting on my right. Councilperson Josh Arn. Councilperson Brad Byer. Mayor Jimmy John King. Councilperson Craig Anderson. Councilperson Jeremiah Holton. Looking for approval of tonight's agenda. Any additions from staff? Well, we should be good, but as is. Anything here at the table? A motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Aye. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Next item is uh, approval of council meeting minutes of July 26, 2022. I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. We have a motion. Any discussion or questions? I'll second. Do we have a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That also carries. That'll take us into finance and budget. Takes us to accounts payable. If you have any questions on that, direct them to finance director Carla. I'll make a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. That will take us into motions and general business. First item on our motions and general business tonight will be a public hearing with High Forest Township. In 2001, the city of Sturfield and High Forest Township entered into a joint orderly annexation agreement. The original agreement was set to expire after five years, subject to an automatic extension for an additional five years upon written notice by either party. To date, we have extended the agreement five times and it has worked very well for both parties. This past year, while working with the Office of Administrative Hearings in annexing County Road 35, it was discovered there were discrepancies between the annexation map and the annexation parcel descriptions that have been caught, that hasn't been caught all these years. Staff has met with High Forest Township, the board members, and have agreed, and all have agreed to rewrite the agreement to reflect the correct descriptions along with extending the annexation boundary area. So we're going to have a public hearing tonight to entertain questions or concerns from city or township residents. So I'm going to close the regular meeting. I'm going to open the public hearing. We have a joint public hearing meeting between the city of Sturfield and High Forest Township. Notice is hereby given that the Sturfield City Council and the High Forest Township Board will hold a public hearing in regards to the orderly annexation agreement on file at City Hall. The meeting will be held at City Hall, 105 East 1st Street, on Monday, August 8th, at 7 p.m. We will listen to all written or oral statements. Do you have any written statements? We do not. Did you folks have any written statements from any of your residents? No. Any oral statements? No. From any of you, oral statements? Any oral statements from us? No. Anybody here at the table? Any questions from you folks? Now's the time. This is the hearing for it. We don't have to make a decision tonight on this. We're going to have you take it back to your board to make sure it's all in agreement with everybody. But we want to get concerns or questions from you so we can work through them too if you have any. The only question I had was if uh, it would doing this is going to affect any of my property of the mining out there. I don't believe it will, will it? No. Yeah. No. Because you're still in the township unless you want to. Unless you want unless to. Unless I come to the city. Yeah. Okay. Dwayne, you had something? Yeah, this uh uh originally it was gonna go up fifteenth Avenue and then they extended over to the east some more. What was the reason for that again, Cheryl? Or Yeah, I can probably help there because okay, we're gonna help. deal with it um, on our roll cog minutes in a little bit. At the last roll cog meeting, they said in order for us to qualify for roll cog funding. What roll cog? That's the Rochester Homestead Council of Governments. So it's made up of township representatives, the small cities representatives, and the county representatives, and the city of Rochester. 
So they said in order for us to ever qualify for getting some of that funding to pay for it, the city would have to annex that road, um, stretch of road. Even though we might all agree at some point to all chip in, like uh, the mayor started working with Commissioner Flynn on, and um, your chairperson, uh, Ken Elfie, um, it's been a long drawn out process. So we decided when we started doing this comp plan work to just bump that out a little bit so when we do annex it in, if we all agree to do that, that it can fully be within this orderly annexation territory. That day we all visited together with Ken and Kevin officials. They, they even asked, why don't we bump it out a little bit? I mean, part of it was their suggestion to move it over some. And, and what it sounds like this will enable us to do is, let's say the adjacent property owners don't want to come in just yet, it'll allow us to do the section of roadway just like we did or we're in the process of doing with 10th Street or 35 out to I-90. Some of those property owners aren't coming in just yet and we'll wait until they you know, express that desire. So it's to help in one category, besides what we feel will be growth someday or you know down our future. So. so you're talking about if you want a black top 15th Avenue, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 Okay. And we you know what we've never forced anybody to annex anything they don't want because they always came to us if they want to come in. So that's we're not trying to do a land grab on you guys. So is there any other concerns or questions from my forest board here? If it gets blacked up, I don't go to the, get pushed by them landowners that will have to be part of that, right? If you're not an next in, you wouldn't. If you're not an next in, you would not pay for none of that. We're trying to make it a joint venture between the county, the city, and the township. So indirectly, all of your residents might pay a little bit, just like all city residents would pay a little bit. Sure, if we yes. join forces to pay whatever differences, we can't get federal funding for, or county funding for. So if we'd ever get it done, Wayne, see that it'd get turned over to the city and take care of it. it that burden would be off your guys' back. But we need to be able to annex that part in, you know, the roadway in. Any questions or concerns up here at the table that you want to discuss? I do want to point out the annexation agreement itself has not changed since for, from the original one. The basic language, one. right. I mean, the only language that changed are the exhibits that outline those legal descriptions. We're just moving about this shit to mm -hmm. a little that way. And that's what the discrepancies were, was with the... There, yeah, the map and the legal descriptions did not match. In certain areas. Anything else, guys? So, Cheryl, I mean, then, I mean, they are up to date completely. I mean, yes, like yes. An, an attorney or whoever looks, looks this all over. I mean, everything looks. Yes. I mean, it's. Yes, SEH put together the map and went through and made sure that every parcel was included in that legal description. The legal description was done by a license surveyor. Uh, the, the document hasn't changed for the process for annexations at all. So even like the last one, like Cheox, is that the last annexation that we've done? That would have been the last one. Mm -hmm. And that, that's in there then? Mm -hmm. Anything else for you guys up here? Cheryl, are you going to keep this big map here? Yes. So if a person wants to look at them, uh -huh. okay. these little ones, you can't really read them. No, you can't. No. And we can always run it down to the fire hall whenever you have a planning commission meeting or a board meeting. Oh, if you okay. need it, we'll, right. yeah. we'll share it. If yeah. you want it for your September 2nd meeting, we can get it to you for that. Because it'll come out in the paper now, so that then you township residents will probably read more and ask some questions of you. Yeah. So definitely 
Yeah, if you need a little one, you can't really read that one. No, I know. <laughs> Well, we've answered most of your concerns. I'm going to close this joint meeting, this public hearing, and return to the regular meeting. So, as long as we're going to send this back, we're not going to make a motion on this Correct. here tonight. Correct. We're going to wait until we hear back from their board. Yes, after they do it on the second, if it gets approved, then we'll bring it back on September 13th for you guys to approve. Okay. So, thank you for your attendance and your attention, guys. Thank you. And if you'd like, you can stay the rest of the meeting. Wow, you're all nice folks, but no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Well, our next item tonight will be another public hearing. It's going to be an abatement of chickens. In August of 2021, the city received complaints that Andrea Stephens, Seven Lane, Fifth Avenue Southeast, was raising chickens, ducks, and a rooster in her backyard. On August 23rd, Raider sent a letter notifying that this was not allowed in Sturtville. So over the past year and a half, we've sent letters, we've gone through the attorney, we've uh, done the state zoning, we've done everything that we need to do. So, on July 21st, Attorney Lentz sent a notice of continued violation and notified staff and said a public hearing on the abatement of the animals was scheduled for tonight. So I will now close the regular meeting and open the public hearing about the abatement of the chickens, ducks, and geese. There's the letter in there, folks. Let's see, we got to no notice it. Meeting to review, sure. No, there isn't. You just, you just opened it. All right, meeting's open, guys. We've done everything we can possibly do. We've sent all the letters. We've even had the uh, uh, Olmstead County Sheriff up there at least once, and we were twice. 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 Uh, things are being ignored. Things are still going as they were. We're going to have to, I guess, go in physically remove, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what the process would be is, um, if you make that decision to do the abatement, um, our attorney, Melanie Loth, will send one more letter notifying him that August 30th will be the date that we will be coming in and confiscating. If you... There may be somebody here to speak to that. She's okay. running for, she's running for county attorney. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know anything about chickens. Okay. All right. <laughs> You guys have anything to say about it? Who do we get to do? What's that? Who do we get to do this? Like City staff. Our, our public works department will be doing it. <laughs> I thought you guys were on a free election work. <laughs> 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 oh, I know I was going to ask you, Cheryl. Yeah. Did you hear anything about it? No, no, nothing from them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the first item that we have on that the owners did make contact with her and hand delivered it. And at that time, she did say that there was someone that she could take the chickens. But this last ticket now was mailed to her because he couldn't catch her at home. And we haven't, she hasn't responded to any of the letters other than that very first one when she came back with her letter from her therapist, counselor, that said it was an emotional support. Chickens, ducks, geese. Any other questions? Anything to add? Otherwise, we're going to close the meeting and we're going to make a motion here. What we're going to do. You might just want to add because of that letter, we have the city attorney look into that, and those animals don't qualify under the state guidelines for that kind of uh, support animal. Correct. Well, in the last year and a half, we've done, we've taken every step that we legally need to be taken, and uh, we've got no response. So this is why we're at the point we're at. Because she's violating the zoning ordinance, and we, unless you want to allow zoning ordinances violated all over town, we need to put a stop. So, if there's no other discussion, I'm going to close the public hearing. All right, council action request would be to order the abatement removal of the animals on August 30th, with one last letter to be sent by Attorney Leth notifying Steppens of this action. 
Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Do you have any final questions or discussion? Very even though I'm going to be labeled a chicken hater. You know I like the eggs, so clearly that's yeah, you love eggs. <laughs> All right. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It carries. Let Melanie send a letter. That takes us to the next day. It was Florence Park Billings Land Transfer. The Park Board is recommending that the red outline parcel be deeded over to B. Billings, 409 2nd Street, Northwest. This recommendation comes at the request of Billings to square up her property line to match the others to the right east. You may remember that this same scenario took place, some of you should remember that, at Meadow Park South in 2018. Billings will be responsible for the survey and legal fees for a lot split and preparation of deed if approved. Now, you all see what we're talking about there. Questions, discussion on that? Brent, do you have any questions? No, I discussed the bill before the meeting. Okay. Anybody else have any questions they'd like to ask or have answered? Hearing none, I'm looking for a motion to approve the land transactions recommended. I move to approve. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Next, approval of Emma Manley Page position. Did I get that right, Nate? You did. Good. By the end of August, we will be losing both our library pages. We have received a number of quality applications and conducted phone and in-person interviews with a number of the candidates. While summer travel prevented us meeting with additional finalists, I would like to offer one of our vacancies to Emma Manley. Emma interviewed extraordinarily well and will make it an excellent addition to our team. Emma is also a junior at Sturfield High. We hope to have her on staff until she starts college. We also hope to finish interviewing page candidates next week and have another library page to bring before the council by the end of August, but we hope to get Emma on board and train before our current pages leave the library. Excellent, thank you. Council action requested would be to either approve or deny Emma Manley to be hired for the position of library page. Questions, discussion? Library board member. Yes, sir. What do you think? Great candidate. Great candidate. All right. Any other questions or discussion? Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That also carries. There you Thank go, you. Nate. Appreciate it. You got it. Thank you. Well, that takes us out of that to the mayor's staff consult reports. Mayor's report tonight. City of Sturville would like to send our sympathies to the families of Vic Fritz, Rhonda Steinkamp, Stephen Breeze, Ronald Anderson, and Donald Jewell. And also, he's probably not there right now, but today was Buck Breezy's birthday. <gasps> so tomorrow when you see him sitting out there again, right up here on 30, give him a honk and a hands up. He really appreciates it. He's out there every day welcoming people to and from our community. Let's not forget to support the American Legion by golfing in their tournament on August 13th. Save this date. Elvis will be in the building. Brad Boyce is going to be in concert at the United Methodist Church on Sunday, August 21st. If you haven't ever seen one of his, it's, it's well worth it. He's, he, he's Elvis when he's not doing street work. <laughs> Use your organization, organizational skills to get ready for the Fall Trash and Treasure Days. They're coming right up, September 17th and 16th. It's kind of scary to think that ain't that far off. Mm -hmm. Wow. And don't forget, it's that time of year again to start looking forward to the Morning's Lions Annual Fall Fest, which is also September 17th. Always a good time, a lot of people out there support them all. That's all I've got for tonight. That'll take us to City Administrator's Report. Bill? 
Short report that's in your packet, and the main items uh, you're addressed a little bit earlier this evening and then tonight. So thank you for that. That should do it. That's it? Yeah, I'll come in a little more when we get to Rule Kai. This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you sure that's it? Yeah, you, you've been talking on the items that I had, so right. that was good. good participation from all of that. City Finance Director Carla, you got a report? Um, just continuing to work on the preliminary budget, and <clears throat> if you guys have any other information for me or want to meet that you would like added, we do have the budget workshop um, for the next council meeting um, in two weeks. And what time does that start? 5 30. At City Hall? At City Hall. All right. Any other questions for Finance Director Carla? Alright, hearing none, let's move on to Public Works Director, Sean. <clears throat> Report in there, uh, we are getting to the time of year we're going to start losing some of our help at the end of this week. Uh, we'll lose some of our guys to go to, off to college. Uh, and we're starting doing some projects with the putting in the new playground equipment out of uh, Schumann Park and then doing some trails we're going to be cutting in. So we may have to juggle guys a little bit between mowing to fill in for some of those guys that we're doing. That stuff is slow stuff down, but normal stuff that happens every year. Other than that, everything's chugging along. Any questions for Sean? You got the Jacobson mower back, I see. Okay. <laughs> yep. Jerry, you mower is a happy fellow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was up and looked at the George, uh, Bill and I looked at the pond up there, and it is, it is cleaning up pretty nicely up there. Of course, every time we get four inches of rain, it should wash a little bit of that out. <laughs> they said it was totally spotless this morning. Uh huh? They said it was totally spotless this morning. I bet it was. <laughs> all right, any other questions for Sean? There are none. Thanks. Thank all the guys. Thanks to the guys that are leaving early or got to take off for college and stuff. Let them know. Thank you. It's on the city engineer. Jenna, do you have a report for us? Um. Likely construction will start next week. Here. Yep, but I do have to touch base with Elcor and make sure we're still on schedule there. Um, otherwise, at our next council meeting, we'll be re um, reviewing and approving plans and specs for the 23 North project so that we can submit those to MINDA and work forward with that news. So. Any other questions for Jenna? Are we out here? All right, thank you, Jenna. That takes us on to library director. Nate, you're up. Sorry, I don't have a report. This what? is like a this is like a bonus show up. This isn't my normal meeting. So <laughs> I just went here to make sure. Yeah, I'm in two weeks. Um, that should be a compliment that we want you back every week. That's great. Um, I have. You're one. doing a great job, and you're very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe half a dozen of each. Yeah. Um, Some magic tricks that you got to report that you did all the magic tricks. Yeah, I. Um, what do I have? I are the main thing I would say is our book sale is going to be next next week, uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, Thursday is when the gelato truck's going to be there, so, you know, uh, fancy ice cream and um, a lot of adult fiction, so um, should be pretty good, and thank you for approving Emma, I think she's going to be really great, and I only have one um, uh, dinosaur versus robot chess set left, so, you know, next. <laughs> Whoever wants it, you know, race the city hall, or race the library. All right, any questions for our library director? Thank you, Nate. No fire chief, no pool director. That takes the committee commission board reports, chamber of commerce. No EDA HRA. Meeting next week. Next week. Finance. We have a meeting before the next meeting. Before the next meeting. Library. We have a meeting next, next week. week. Park board? Uh, we met last week out at the uh, new park space at the uh, Sugar's Rolling Ridge. Um, talked about uh, budget and look at where the playground equipment's going to go out there and stuff. So. Get that all kind of figured out? I think so. Good. 
that it? That's all right. All I got. Yeah. Personnel? <clears throat> There's minutes. Yeah, they were right. just underneath my thing with yeah. the minutes. They were right yeah. under the minutes. Yeah. 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 We'll let you go on that one this time. Bill. You've been a busy couple of weeks. There it is. Hey, oh. zoning? Uh, we met earlier. Just going over that comprehensive plan. Yeah. yeah, we had a comprehensive plan. Preliminary meeting tonight was a good meeting. Public safety. You're out. You got anything to tell us? Yeah, I don't have anything real significant, but I wanted to follow up with everyone about the speed signs that I talked about. Um, Did they send us some places? What's that? Did the staff send some of the information? Yep. And thank you for that. I got those. Um, I think we're going to start with six Street Southeast uh, beginning next week. Um, currently, the two signs, the trailers, one is on that new section, 104, up there at Calmar Township. Yep. Uh, I think I was speeding by it right there. They like that same road. I don't know where the other one is. I can't remember. Uh, Dean Thompson, one of our deputies, is kind of our in office expert with those trailers. So I'm trying to learn how to run them so that if he's gone, they can still operate them. Um, he had already had a plan that with school, start school approaching, he was going to start putting those out in smaller towns, kind of get people aware of their speed as school approaches. But he didn't have Stuartville in that rotation. So um, I think the one from Counter Report was supposed to go to Yoda, but I negotiated with them to get it here first. So we're going to flip, we're going to start with 6th Street Southeast by Bonner. So you probably see it out there, I'm assuming either Sunday or Monday, starting off. Um, and then I'm going to put pressure on him and Jason to be sure that as that, as those trailers get rotated through the different communities and our different areas where it's been requested that Stuartville is a significant part of that. So you should be seeing it down here. Uh, if, out of the two sides, probably uh, most of the summer, or uh, fall. So Good, thank you. I'll make sure it's down here frequently, at least one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That's one. Any questions, sir? Oh. Thanks a lot. Good. Thank you. Uh, public Works. I guess that's, Sean, I, now I'm going back. I should have asked you back on here. So. What, what's the... Are they ever going to start blacktopping up at the school, or is I mean, they've had it tore up. The school ran into an issue, so it's done at the school. Okay. Uh, they when they got the tore off their base, they didn't have, they had no base. Okay. So they're having to go through their steps to get it approved. To, okay. So it's held up a little bit, but yeah, they said it'd be three weeks originally, but stuff changes. Well, I was just wondering because like it's like you said, it's been kind of at a standstill. There's one. Yeah. Our stuff. Is basically ready to go. Yeah. The well, water is taken care of. I had a couple calls, questions about, you know, on the alley. Mm -hmm. Is this one or one? And they have access. I mean, they can no, get all the access. access. Yeah. So I haven't worried about it too much because they are able to get them under their All right. Thank you. Ready. Report. Roll call. Uh, minutes in your packet. Provided the most recent policy. Uh, change language where they've added proposed language that I felt more specifies us and Byron uh, to be eligible for some of that funding. Obviously, as Jenna pointed out, we'll work on becoming a part of a couple of those uh, subcommittees there to keep that voice heard and now uh, work on um, a renewed effort uh, about 15th since it does qualify under those categories. It still might involve joint participation from us, High Forest, and, and the county. But we'll take another stab at it here and, and try to work toward it. Because at last meeting, I told them between us townships and, and smaller cities, we're hardly getting anything. Rochester gets the most concentration because of volume of numbers. But I said for our communities, it's just important for our citizens. So periodically, they've got to do that out just a little bit better. Um, for both um, our uh, smaller entities. So nice. we'll see if this helps. One of the things they did bring up, I didn't need to cut you off there. Uh, one of the things they brought up was, because um, we told about the 15th being in both uh, jurisdictions, and they said it has to fall under these population numbers, which Stewartville qualifies for, but I Forest doesn't. Thus, the explanation on annexing that whole section of street in our so we'll have to work on that. I see reading through there, we did get mentioned three times, and Ross only got mentioned 15. <laughs> so yeah, at least they're mentioning us again. So, so good work, though. We'll work on that together. 
Chairs and advisory committee. No report or take it. Communications, nothing in our packets. That brings us to the open mic. The City Council welcomes and encourages participation from the community members. Please keep in mind that your comments must be pertinent to city business and must adhere to data privacy rules. No employee's name may be used. Please do not expect action from the Council this evening regarding your concerns. We also request that your comments be limited to about four minutes. Speakers will be recognized only once. At this time, we ask anyone who would like to address the Council, please step up to our podium and give us your name and address. And what you're going to do for us when you get elected? It's exciting to um, be back in a small town. I've in a small town. That brings us to our final motion of the evening. Whoops, Bill's got his hand up. Yep, just to thank you to all our neighborhoods that had the night out picnics. Uh, they went really well. It was a beautiful night, a little warm on the toasty side, but Jeremiah joined us and his daughter. Jeremiah and his daughter joined uh, us. Just to see all the neighborhoods get along and uh, having a good time and camaraderie is great. Awesome. All over the whole the geography of uh, Sturbo. Just so, big parties. Yeah. All right, that'll bring us to our final motion. Move to adjourn, please. Move a second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Adjourn.